Hey y'all, it's the Tradition Girl Comedic Medium Prophetess and I'm back with another video. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Hello. If you're new, <clears throat> I am a prophetic tale reader. I do not read cards based off the movies. I read cards based off what spirit tells me. The Holy Spirit is in the divine. Also a psychic medium. I'm able to connect with those who have crossed over. I'm going to do a reading for divine feminine, divine masculine. <clears throat> Whatever's going on in Karmicville. All right, you guys. We're going to go ahead and pray. And then we're going to go ahead and get started. Today is Wednesday. I believe July the... Hold on. Today is... Shit, I ain't even charged this damn phone. Goddamn. <laughs> today is July the 30th, Tuesday. I thought today was Wednesday. God damn, I'm way off, y'all. But today is Tuesday, July the 30th, 2024. Let's see what's going on for the collective. What is going on today on Tuesday, July 30th, 2024? It's almost August. I like this year is going by really damn fast. Before you know it, it's going to be 2025. I'm hearing something about Project 2025. Okay, I need to look in, into that because I don't even know what that is, but I've been seeing that shit all over social media, Project 25, whatever the hell that is. Let me check for these cards, you guys, and then we're going to go ahead and pray. I'm being called to get an Oracle deck. I mean, an or yeah, Oracle deck. To pull an Oracle card. Uh, let me see which Oracle deck. It's between my Moonlight Oracles or my Gaia Oracles. Uh, I probably should have been a little bit more prepared <laughs> when I got on camera. I don't know. I really don't know what the hell what deck Spear won't be to use. All right, let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, let's go ahead and pray. Protect me, Father God. Protect me from any negative energy. <clears throat> All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raziel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Metatron, I ask you to see your greatest white light. And please give me clear and precise messages. Protect my crown chakra. Protect my throat chakra. Protect my heart chakra. Protect me from any harm or entity that does not want me to speak, that does not want me to get messages out. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Thank you for the love and the messages and the protection. Somebody could be moving. Okay, I'm literally seeing like a U-Haul in my head. So somebody could be moving. Okay, you could be planning to move. This could be an actual physical move or this could be a spiritual move. But I'm hearing somebody is about to get ready to move. All right, so expect, I don't know. Again, this could be a spiritual move or a physical move. But I'm hearing the word moving. Somebody is going to get ready to move from a community. Maybe you're going to one community to the next. Privileged lady here. Okay, I'm hearing something about a lump sum of money. Yeah, we have the lover's card here. You may be moving with a lover. This could be your husband. This could be your wife. This could be your fiance or something like that. Uh, the singer Beyonce could be significant. Okay, I'm hearing that song again. Ring the alarm. I've been through this too long, but I'd be damned if I see another chick on your arm. I feel like somebody doesn't want you to be the privileged lady. Okay, you could be a man or a woman. You know, we don't read gender gender in tarot, but somebody don't want you to be the privileged lady. Yeah, we have meditate and contemplate. Okay, you may need to pray about this move. Okay, somebody is going to be moving. I'm hearing very soon in the next couple of months or the next couple of weeks or days. I don't know. But yeah, we meditate and pop uh, contemplate. And then we have believe in the impossible. Somebody could be a Cancer or, or a Piscean or a Scorpio. A water sign could be involved in something. A water sign could be trying to stop you from some type of forward movement. Somebody does not want you to be a privileged lady. Somebody wants you stuck in some type of trap. Okay, this could be some type of entrapment. Okay, somebody that wants you stuck. They don't want you to move out of some type of community or, or this could be a new job. Excuse me, some, spiritual birth. Some of you could be re relocating because of a job. Engine number 444, engine number 444 could be significant. Spirit, slow down the downloads. I feel like somebody here, yeah, we have be bold and make the first move. Exactly. 
Okay, somebody can definitely be a water sign. So you can be a water sign. Remember, this is a general collective message. So just take what resonates, leave what don't. Yeah, a time for healing. Okay, you could have went through like, you could have went through like a, a lot of trials, a lot of tribulations in some type of community or some type of neighborhood or some type of town. I feel like you're about to move from this community, this neighborhood, this town. Okay, and there's a privileged lady. I feel like this is a privileged lady in the reverse. You could be a privileged lady in the upright, male or female. Somebody is trying to keep you from moving, but I'm here. You're going to move anyway. Okay, this may, again, this may be a physical move or this may be a spiritual move, but somebody does not want you to move and they don't want you to have love. Somebody doesn't want you to be married. Somebody, wow, yeah, imprisonment card here, despair here. Somebody knows I feel like I keep hearing something has something to do with some type of lump sum of money. It's like after you get this lump sum of money, you're going to become a privileged lady. You're going to be with the love of your life and you're going to be moving to a new community. This may even be like overseas. This may not actually be in the United States. You can live overseas. You may be moving to the United States or you can be in the United States and you're about to move overseas. I feel like, but before you move, yeah, be bold, be bold and make the first move. That's really take a, a that's really sticking out to me in the time for healing. It's like after you make this move, okay, or after the most high guy, your spirit guides move you. It's like then you're going to become this privileged lady, this privileged man, this wealthy woman, this wealthy man. And you're going to be with the love of your life living in a new community. But I feel like before that happens, it's like several people here, they're going to be in jail. Somebody has to get locked up. I feel like somebody is about to be removed. So if somebody has been trying to remove you from a community, a platform, a town, a neighborhood, whatever. If anybody has been trying to remove you, now I'm hearing the word remove. If somebody, this can literally be a group of people that's in despair because they know that they're facing jail time. Somebody has been trying to remove you. Somebody has been manipulating something behind the scenes. Wow, distant horizons here. You finna move. Somebody is finna move. And I feel like this move is going to catch you off guard. Okay, it's like this may again, this may not be a physical move. This could be a spiritual move. This could be something regarding work. Maybe you're going to be promoted on your job, but there's a group of people or individual. They don't want to give up their seat. They don't want to give up their throne. They don't want to pass the baton to you. I'm even picking up on a death here. Somebody is about to be removed for trying to remove you from a community, a town, a neighborhood, or some type of platform or whatever the fuck. Yeah, distant horizons here. Yeah, bad health. Wow. I feel like whoever this karmic energy is or karmic energies, they're in bad health in despair because they know that they're facing jail time. Somebody is facing legal troubles. Angel number 13. 13 could be significant. 11, 11. Angel number 31 could be significant. Main male here. Yeah, we have the main mail. Wow, wow. Main mail, courthouse, and occupation and pathway here. Official person. Wow, this is a lot. So this is you, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. You're this official person here. You're this chosen one. You're this star seed. You're this earth angel. You're this anointed being. You're this divine being here. And there's a group of people. There could be a main male that could be behind this. There is a main male that's working with some type of a cult, a cult or some type of secret organization to keep you from being a privileged lady. This man and this group that this man has been working with, they're in despair. Somebody is in a lot of despair because they're they're facing jail time. Somebody is dealing with a lot of bad health as well. Somebody could have uh, somebody could have tried to give you some type of incurable STD or somebody could be doing some type of death spells or or moon magic or picture magic, heavy moon magic here. Yeah, you see how this says moon? It says ballistic moon, blue moon, okay? New moon in Pisces. Somebody could definitely be a water sign here. This main male could be a water sign. This main male is the one that's in despair, that's in bad health. They're scared. Somebody is scared. It's a man. It's a main male and a group of people that's scared that they finna go to jail. They're also in bad health. This could be like a physical bad health. Like somebody could have HIV, AIDS. Somebody could have like an incurable STD. Somebody could have, some, or somebody could just be sick in their mind or somebody is just in despair. Somebody is worried. Somebody is worried, sick. This is crazy here. Yeah, concerned. I'm telling you, engine number three. Wow, wow, sudden wealth. This main male could be working with a mature woman here to block your love life, to block your finances. I feel like somebody's going to get a message. Okay, this is going to be very unexpected about these karmics that's trying to block and stop your path. Then, yeah, pathway came out. Yeah, there is a light at the end of the tunnel here. I'm hearing, don't be nervous. nervous. Don't be worried about this move. 
It's like somebody wants you living in fear. Somebody wants you to believe. I keep picking up on this energy. There is a group of people or one person. They keep doing some type of spell work over the collective, over chosen ones, over divine beings. Somebody wants you to believe, no, you're not chosen. You're not a star seed. You're not, you're not an earth angel. You're not getting anything. You're never going to be a privileged lady. You're never going to be the wealthy man, the wealthy woman, the privileged man. You're never going to be any of that. Nothing's never going to happen to you. But they won't tell you this. These are a group of people or one person. Because for some of you, this could be a group. This could be your co-workers. This could be your family. Or this could just be one person, your ex. Okay, this could be an ex-friend of yours. This could be a parental figure, a cousin, a baby daddy, a baby mama, ex-wife, an ex-girlfriend, any fucking body. Somebody wants you to give up hope. Somebody literally wants you to believe. I don't know why this energy keeps coming out. But somebody really wants you to believe. Oh, you're never going to have anything. You're not chosen. Who the, who the fuck do you think you are? Yeah, somebody doesn't want you to venture out by yourself. So you could be somebody that's like responsible. You could pay your own bills. You could pay your own rent. You could pay your own, uh, own mortgage. You could have your own car, have your own house, clothes. I mean, you, you, provide, you provide for yourself. Somebody wants you to be unstable. This is crazy as fuck. Wow, family room here. This could be your family that's attacking you, that's doing this to you. This is real crazy, man. Main male and main female here. Yeah, mature woman here. This is real fucking crazy, bruh. There can literally be a lot of people that's involved in something, including crooked local government officials. This is so sad. I can I can I can feel this energy in the anointing. This is so fucking sad. With the uh sudden wealth card here, 1111, something is coming to you. A lump sum of money. Somebody doesn't want you to get this lump sum of money. It's like I don't know. It's like somebody wants somebody to be unstable here. It's like if you're unstable then you can't get this money. Somebody wants you to be seen as them and them seen as you. It's like somebody, so this could be like self-sabotage. Somebody wants you to self-sabotage yourself. So it's like if they can do some type of spell work, death magic, if they can cause, I'm seeing the seven of cups in my head. If they can cause some type of illusion, then you will kill yourself. You will take yourself out. You're unalive yourself. You're, you will stop what you're doing. Okay, this could be your job. Somebody may want you to quit your job. Somebody doesn't want you to have a job. Somebody wants you to do something to get yourself evicted. So if you if you pay your own bills, you pay your own rent, you pay your own mortgage. Somebody wants you to do something to get evicted. Somebody wants you to lose your home because they scared. These people are scared as fuck. These people scared in the motherfucker. Yeah, surrender to the divine. These people need to work on healing. They need to surrender to the divine because I'm hearing there's a major tower that's brewing. There's a major tower here that's coming. Somebody wants somebody to be seen as unstable. This mature woman here, this mature woman, this main male and this main female. I have no idea who these people are. One of these people could be attacking you or all of these people are working in cahoots. I'm seeing the three of cups here. This is a bunch of third parties that's trying to remove somebody from a community, a neighborhood, a town. This could even be a platform. This could be you could be uh, you could be in the public eye. You could be doing something regarding social media. OK, you could be on some type of social network or platform. Somebody is working very fucking hard to remove you. They do not like you. They hate this person actually hates you. They want you in poverty. Yeah, but there is about to be a change. Somebody is trying to stop this change. Somebody is trying to stop this new beginning of sudden wealth. Somebody is so jealous and envious here. Engine number nine, nine, nine could be significant adjudication here. The court house card came out here as well so this is telling me there's definitely some type of high federal profile court case going on somebody is trying to keep sudden wealth from you but i keep hearing a move this can literally be a physical move or a spiritual move i'm hearing expect the unexpected something is going to literally take somebody off guard it's gonna this is gonna really shock you yeah death card here in the reverse yeah three of pentacles here i'm telling you it's a group here Okay, this can literally be these three people, this mature woman, this main male, and this main female. These are the group of people that's blocking you, that's trying to stop you, that's trying to remove you from your job. But I, I keep I keep hearing self-sabotage. Somebody wants you to self-sabotage. Like, I'm literally seeing this in my third eye. Like, somebody wants you to get into a fight in your community, your town, your neighborhood, so you get evicted from your home. But it's like you don't do anything to get into a fight. You don't you mind your business. You don't fool with people. You just go to work and come home. Somebody wants your car to break down. Somebody wants you to run out, run out of gas on the side of the road. Somebody wants you on the side of the road, homeless, begging for chains, begging for help. It's like everything that these three people have tried to do to destroy you. It's not working. 
And I feel like these people, they're in despair. They, they're in despair. They're in bad health. They're facing jail time. Look at this shit. I cannot make this shit up. They're in bad health. They face in jail time. Okay. They're in despair. They're concerned. They're worried. They don't know what to do because these people or this group, your family, this, this community, this occult, this secret organization in society, they have done everything possible to remove you from a community, from to, to remove you, whatever the fuck, to remove you, to, to, to sabotage you, to blackball you. So since none of this shit is working, they're trying to get you to self-sabotage by placing doubt and fear, by doing a uh, death magic and illusion spells. Somebody is causing several illusions, but believe in the, in, in the impossible. The Most High God is saying, believe in the impossible. Continue to surrender to the divine because you've healed, okay? Just chill out. Just, just, just continue to rest and rejuvenate. Meditate and contemplate and be bold and make the first move. I feel like this card right here, something is something very, yeah, sudden wealth. Sudden. Like suddenly. Look up the definition of suddenly. This is sudden. Some that means this is quickly. Something, something sudden. There's some type of sudden wealth. Something is gonna catch you off guard. Something is gonna come to you when you least expect it. And when you get this money, you're gonna be able to move. Maybe you were hoping to move and you didn't have the finances for it. I'm hearing something that's going to catch somebody off guard. One second. Sorry about that, you guys. <clears throat> but yeah, confirmation with the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Cups here. There's some type of sudden wealth that's coming in. There's some type of lump sum of money. But if these people can do some type of death magic or death spells or whatever type of magic he calls some type of illusion, I'm hearing something about moon magic as well. If these people can cause some type of illusion to get you to self-sabotage, to get you to unalive yourself, take yourself out. Somebody wants you in jail. Somebody is so scared. Like, y'all really need to get this shit up, man. Yeah, with the eight of wands here, there is sudden wealth coming in very quickly with this 11 up here. 11, 11 can definitely be significant. Y'all really need to get this retarded ass, tired ass shit up. Three of, three of, three of swords here. Okay, somebody wants you heartbroken. Yeah, five of wands here. Yeah, five of wands in the reverse and five of wands in the upright. I feel like with the five of wands in the reverse, you're not dealing with any chaos or drama in your life. You don't have any karmic debt. What, what don't these people understand? They're the ones dealing with chaos and drama. And they're trying to project this shit onto you. This is one person that's doing this or a whole group of people. A whole, this could be a whole community. This could be your job. This could be your family. This could be anybody, your ex, any fucking body. I don't know who doing this. It's different for everybody. Just take what resonate, leave what don't. But the chosen ones, especially divine feminines that are females, they're under heavy attack right now. Divine masculine as well. But y'all need to get this shit up. This person, these people, they don't have any karmic dad. Somebody is literally trying to put somebody up under judgment. Somebody wants you heartbroken and stuck. Hangman here. You're not stuck. You don't have any karmic dad. Somebody wants you stuck in your south node. How much more is this shit going to come out? This shit come out every day. Two of pentacles here in the reverse. You're not juggling shit. It's like, I don't know. This is, this is weird as fuck to me. This shit is weird. Somebody literally wants you to get into a fight so you go to jail. Somebody wants you to unalive yourself or unalive somebody else. Somebody is just hoping and praying. Somebody does this spell work, this death magic every fucking day. This has something to do with money. It always got something to do with money, right? They don't want you to get this sudden wealth. Somebody knows when you get this sudden wealth, you're not going to give them shit. But I feel like somebody has already stole uh, some of this money. This Ace of Pentacles, somebody could have stole the Ten of Pentacles from you. So they don't want you to get your hands on this Ace of Pentacles. It's like if you die with the death card in the reverse, it's never going to happen. If you die or you pass away or you unalive yourself or whatever the fuck, or you, you unalive somebody else or you get evicted and you lose your home, somebody wants you to be seen as unstable. Somebody wants two things to happen to you. Somebody wants you to die or somebody wants you to get locked up. If you die and you get locked up, then they can get this Ace of Pentacles because they've already stole this group, this main female, this main male, and this mature woman. They've already stole the Ten of Pentacles from you, but they can't get access. Yeah, I'm hearing access granted. Their access cannot be granted. This has something to do with the Akashic Records as well. Your Akashic Records, it's like they can't get access to this sudden wealth. They've already gotten access to a great fortune. I'm, I'm seeing that with the Kipper deck, but they cannot get access to this sudden wealth unless you die or unless you pass away or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Five of pentacles here. <laughs> These people are broke and they're trying to cause you to be broke. These people are losing everything. Like, damn, you already stole this 10 of pentacles. 
So now you're trying to get this ace of pentacles, but why come divine masculine, divine feminine got to die or they got to go to jail in order for you to get it? Somebody, this is pissing me off. Real shit. I'm tired of this shit coming out. This shit is really fucking pissing me off, bitch. Why don't you understand, hoe ass nigga? Male or female, it's a group of y'all or one person. Why don't you understand? They don't have any karmic debt. I don't have no karmic debt. My collective don't have any karmic debt. We're chosen. We are chosen beings. We are divine feminines, divine masculines. Somebody wants somebody stuck in their self. No, you don't got no karmic debt. What karmic debt do you have? I don't see shit for you, divine masculine, divine feminine. Matter of fact, y'all not even on this table. It's these people energy coming out. It's, it's these people energy and the shit that they trying to do to y'all. Yeah, all this retarded ass spell work magician card here. This is a group of fucking snakes. You snakes. You fucking snakes and thieves. You're thieves. That's why you in bad health. That's why you can't sleep at night. Somebody can't even sleep at night because they up worried. They up concerned. They can't sleep at night. Somebody is popping a lot, a lot of pills. Somebody is taking a lot of medication. Somebody just knows. Somebody knows that you're going to get this sudden wealth. Again, this card says be, mo be bold. Make the first move. When you get this money, be wise. That's what spirit is telling me. If this has something to do with money, this may not have nothing to do with physical money. This could be your spiritual inheritance. This could be a physical inheritance. It may have something to do with money. This could be some type of promotion. Okay, this could be anything. There is a group of people here that's trying to remove you from some type of community, town, neighborhood, platform. Somebody wants you to get kicked out of your home. This could even be your neighbors. This could be your neighbors, a neighborhood. You could be you could be renting. I don't know. Some of you could be in an Airbnb. Some of you could be homeless. I don't fucking know. But I'm hearing a change is finna come. Finna come. Okay, you're not gonna be homeless forever. You're not gonna be in an Airbnb forever. Whatever the fuck this is, you finna get a brand new home. And these people are mad about it. Somebody could be living in your damn home, and they finna get kicked out. Yeah, bitch, you retarded motherfucker. Eight of Pentacles here. Yeah, three of cups here. These people are waiting to celebrate your demise. You fucking idiots. Yeah, eight of pentacles. Somebody don't want you to have a job. Somebody don't want you working. Somebody is trying to remove you. They're trying to hide you. They don't want you to be seen. They don't want you to be in the public eye. They don't want you to be able to clock in at your job. But yeah, whatever the fuck. Wheel of fortune here in the reverse because they keep trying to play God in your life. Somebody wants you to be up under judgment. What judgment, bitch? And I hate to keep cussing, y'all. I don't like to cuss, but I have to because these people are slow. What fucking judgment do divine masculine, divine feminine has? You don't have any karmic debt. What karmic debt do you have? None. You've done the work. Obviously, you've done the work. When the pathway card came out, that let me know you've been on some type of spiritual journey. Yeah, sacred earth mother, a, a message of love. You can definitely be uh, be being protected by your spirit guides. You can have a grandmother or a grandfather that's protecting you on the other side. Or this could be your mother. Your mother or your father could be deceased. Or your mother or your father could be doing this shit to you. A parental figure. Yeah, we have a reflection here. Illusion, self-examination, self distortion. This is projection energy here. Somebody is trying to project their cursed ass life onto you. And somebody is hoping and praying. I'm hearing that song, that commercial, hoping and praying and wishing. Well, however the fuck that goes. Somebody is just, they do this shit every day. This is sickening. Somebody just hopes and prays and wishes that you lose your home. Do you not understand what I'm saying? Really listen to what I'm saying. Somebody is doing some type of death magic, causing some type of illusion. Illusion spells moon magic. They do this shit every time it's a new moon cycle. Somebody can literally be chanting your name. Somebody is doing candle magic and shit. This is crazy to me. Somebody is literally hoping, like somebody wants you to get into a freak accident. Somebody wants you to wreck your car and drive off the side of a bridge or a road. Because they want an ace of pentacles. They want this sudden wealth. This sudden wealth is signed, sealed, and delivered. You may get this sudden wealth in the mail. You may get a knock at the door from some type of federal agent or whatever the fuck. Or UPS or FedEx. Something is going to come to you. The movie Castaway could be significant. Your divine counterpart may come towards you as well. I feel like it's some karmic energies. It's a karmic masculine or karmic feminine. Okay, this person may not be related to you. Okay, this may not be somebody that you work with. This may not be somebody that's a part of your family, but there's definitely a snake here. There's definitely a karmic masculine or karmic feminine that's trying to block your love life as well. So you can literally have a whole group of people, uh, an occult a community that's trying to remove you somewhere, block your love life, blah, 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 on top of your family, on top of your ex or whatever the fuck. And then you got a karmic loser that's in love with you. You don't even know this person, male or female. This bitch ass nigga or bitch. They're trying to block your love life because they want access to your sudden wealth. This has something to do with the Akashic Records, man. 
Yeah, this is a lot of projection here. I don't get this shit. If I gotta scream this shit, I will. But I don't feel like screaming. Bro, let's 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 look at this reflection card. Cause this shit don't make no sense, bro. You don't have reflection. You know how when you look when you look in the mirror, like I'm looking at the camera right now. I'm looking at the camera and I can see myself. So when you watch this video, you're gonna be able to see me. Okay? That's what I mean. You know what reflection means. Look up the definition, okay? If you need to, because I know some of y'all are slow. I feel like I'm talking to some of you karmics. When you look yourself in the mirror, karmic, what do you see? A piece of shit, a loser that's a thief. You're in bad health. You're facing fucking jail time. You're worried. You're concerned because you know this sudden wealth is coming to divine masculine, divine feminine. You don't have any karmic debt, divine masculine, divine feminine. What karmic debt do you have? Somebody wants you to believe. Somebody wants you to, uh, somebody doesn't want you to believe. Excuse me. Somebody wants you to give up hope. Somebody wants you laying around, around all day, moping around. Somebody wants you to just, just be sad and heartbroken, three of swords. Somebody wants you broke. Somebody wants you stuck in poverty. Somebody doesn't want you working occupation. Somebody just wants you to just shoot yourself in the head. Like, oh, I hate my life. God doesn't love me. God doesn't care about me. So I'm just going to shoot myself. I'm just going to kill myself. Some of you probably don't even own a gun. You don't even have a gun. Why would you kill yourself? But it's like, if you kill yourself, follow me now. If you kill yourself, then they can get this sudden wealth. They can get this ace of pentacles. Then boom, you know, they're, they're, that's, their, that's their get out of jail free card. If you kill yourself, then boom, the lies and the rumors, the defamation of your character will be true. If you off yourself, if you want to live yourself, if you stab yourself in the chest or shoot yourself, then yeah, the lies will be true. Divine masculine, divine feminine. You know, they were crazy. They were mentally ill. They were mentally unstable. Somebody wants you to be unstable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not going to go to jail now. Oof. Somebody is playing Monopoly with your life. Oh, I'm not going to go to jail now. I'm good now. Yeah, they killed their self. They unalive their self. Now I can get this ace of pentacles and I ain't going to have to go to jail. Somebody wants you to get into a fight with somebody in your community. They're, they're hoping for anything. They're hoping and praying and wishing, hoping and praying and singing and wishing without how the fuck that commercial went. Somebody wants you to get into a fight with somebody in your neighborhood, in your community. Somebody could be paying people in your neighborhood, your community, your town to, to pick fights with you. So this could be some of your neighbors. Your neighbors might not like you. Your neighbors may be trying to pick fights with you or something like that. Somebody wants you to get into a physical altercation so you go to jail. Somebody is just hoping, yeah, if they go to jail, then they'll lose everything. Somebody wants you to be in jail for about a year to six months. This could be even, this could be a misdemeanor or a minor crime. Somebody wants you to go to jail. So when you go to jail, when you get out, you lose your home. You lose your dog. You can have a fur baby. Somebody wants you to lose your home, your dog, your children. If you have children for some of you, somebody wants you to go to jail and be locked up and lose everything. And then when you get locked up and you lose everything, then somebody, I'm literally seeing this. What the fuck? Then somebody can write up some type of paperwork. This could be past energy. You could have went to jail in the past and somebody could have wrote up some type of false paperwork, some type of false document. Somebody could have said, oh, I don't know where divine masculine, divine feminine at. Whole time you were in jail, you were incarcerated. Okay. Or you could have moved from your town. You could have already moved. So this could be past energy. You could have moved from your neighborhood. You could have moved from your town. You could have moved from some type of community. This could be your hometown that you grew up in. You could have moved. You moved somewhere. And it's like when you moved, this 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 mature woman, this main male and this main female, they lied. They said they didn't know where you were at. So there could definitely be some type of court case going on here with the courthouse and adjudication. These people lied and said they don't know where the fuck you at. They said you died. They could, wow, what the fuck? Yo, this is crazy. Death card here in the reverse. I'm literally seeing this in my third eye. Somebody could have literally wrote up a fake death certificate. Somebody could have said you died and you not dead. You ain't unalive yourself. You ain't unalive nobody. You didn't do none of that shit. Somebody could even be trying to uh, pin a murder charge on you. Bro, somebody trying to get rid of your motherfucking ass. But what, what for? You've healed. You did the work. Healing here. Healing. Reconnecting with your true nature. Why come you don't deserve something? You don't deserve something? The dream. Believe in your dreams. Okay? Something is revealed. Insight. Breakthrough. Your, your spirit guides could be trying to show you something. I'm telling you, there's definitely a lot of ancestors, archangels that's protecting you right now, that's surrounding you right now. You have a gift that's coming. A gift of sudden wealth. Suddenly. Look up the definition of suddenly. That means rapidly. That, mean, that means quickly. I did pull 
pull out the eight of wands, something is coming to you. These people ain't going to be able to block it or stop it or nothing. I'm telling you, you could have predicted something or maybe you're going to predict something about these people or whatever the fuck. Or I could be predicting something for you right now, a hidden gift. I want you to believe. Don't you ever. Don't you ever in your motherfucking life, if you know that you are a divine masculine or a divine feminine, listen to me and listen to me good. This is what God got for you. Blessings on top of blessings. God love you. And he love me too. He love us. He ain't forgot about us. He know everything that you want. He know everything that you need. He will never leave you or forsake you. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is our Father which art in heaven. Who the fuck do these people think they are to do some type of spell work to try to fuck up your connection and your relationship with God? Somebody wants you to kill yourself. Bitch, you kill your motherfucking self, you weird asshole. Whoever doing this retarded ass spell work. I feel like it's three people that's doing this shit. A main male, a main female, and a mature woman. There could even be a mature man that's involved in this as well. Or this could just be several energies. It could be up to 10 or 20, 30 people that's involved in this shit. But they all, they all shapeshifters. They all cloak themselves. They all try to stay behind the scenes. Okay. Yeah, purification here. Bags, bare extensions, the naked truth, the wholeness. Yeah, attachment, letting go of re resurrection, fear. Let me burn some of my sage. I'm hearing that gospel song. I'm hearing create in me a clean heart and purify me, purify me. Why come you don't deserve nothing? It's like somebody is trying to hold somebody to their past. Yeah, Ganesha here. Yeah, clearing away obstacles, protections, guidance. You could have definitely, you could definitely be on some type of spiritual journey, some type of spiritual path. This is so sad what I'm picking up on. If y'all can see what I'm seeing in my third eye, this is so fucking sad. It's like, put it like this, divine masculine, divine feminine. You could have been a certain way when you were younger. Okay, you could have been to jail before. You could have committed crimes before, but you don't do that no more. Okay, you could have sold drugs. You don't do that no more. You could have motherfucking did drugs. You don't do that no more. You could have been an alcoholic. You don't, you don't do that no more. You could have been a fucking prostitute for all I know. You could have been male or female. You could have, I don't know, you could have robbed. You could have steal. You could have stole. You could have, you could have did a lot of shit in your past, but you don't do that no more because that was your south node. And for some of y'all, you ain't never did shit. You've always been a good person. But motherfuckers have defamed your character so much. I'm hearing defamation of character. Cause all type of illusions because I'm picking up on illusion spells. These people have done so much to destroy you, your image, to destroy your person, to destroy who you are. That they actually think they're going to get away with this. Somebody actually thinks that they're going to keep you stuck in your south node. Somebody actually wants you to believe that you're never going to get anything. And that's what's pissing me off. This is really sad. Somebody wants you to kill yourself, man. Somebody wants you to just give up on hope because everything that they've done, the people that they've hired, the spell work that they did, nothing worked. You're still standing. Nothing that they did destroyed you. You're still standing in your power. I'm seeing the strength card in my head. You're still standing strong. You're still standing powerful because why? You're the fucking official person. That's why. Where did the official person go? Yeah, you're the official person. You're the chosen one. You standing strong. You got all, look, you didn't been the battle. You didn't been the war. You didn't want, you didn't earned all your stripes. You didn't got all of your rewards in the spirit. And now that shit is finna manifest into the physical. You've manifested an abundant life. You, you did this divine masculine, divine feminine. You manifested a sudden wealth. You did this. This is your hard work. You the one that did the work. You the one that was on a spiritual journey, a spiritual path. So, so what, what you mean? Do you actually think that God would take you through trials and tribulations? Do, he, do you actually think he would put you through all of this shit? Ganesha, again, look, clearing away obstacles, protection, guidance. Do you really think God would take you on this spiritual path and leave you hanging? Again, the Most High God will never leave you or forsake you. Do you really think the Most High God will leave you out in the cold after all of this hell that you've gone through after all of these trials and tribulations? No, no. God got a hidden gift for you. He got a hidden gift and a lot of sudden wealth.
And this shit is coming in real quickly. I'm telling you, rags to motherfucking rich, riches. Damn, somebody finna go from the five of pentacles to the ace of pentacles just overnight. Boom. And these people are sick about it. They worried about it because they don't know what the fuck else to do. So the only thing that they can do, because that's the moral of this reading, the only thing that they can do is cause some type of illusion. The only thing that they can do is try to play, continue to play God in your life. Will of fortune in the reverse. The only thing that they can do is to get you to unalive yourself. Who the fuck gonna kill they self? Who the fuck gonna do some shit like that? Ain't nobody finna kill they self, bitch. You kill yourself. Whoever doing this sorry ass spell work, bitch. Your family, ten of cups here. Your family don't want to go to jail. Your cousin, your brother, your mama, your daddy. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune in the, ver in the reverse. It's coming out twice, bitch. Kill yourself. You stuck in your motherfucking self. No, you ain't got shit coming to you. Divine masculine, divine feminine. Keep surrendering to the divine and believe in the impossible. You ain't got shit coming to you, bitch. Kill yourself. I want you to kill yourself. Kill yourself now. Since you're trying to get divine masculine, divine feminine to kill their motherfucking self. Two of cups here. Since you're trying to block somebody's love life. Yeah, I told you lover's card here with the two of cups. You're trying to block somebody's love life. Block somebody's abundance. Block somebody's sudden. Well, that ain't even really necessarily about your love life. I mean, that too. But it's like, even if this ain't physical money. It's like somebody may not even be blocking physical money. Somebody may not actually, they probably didn't even steal no money from you, but somebody doesn't want you to be with a wealthy man or a wealthy woman. Somebody don't want you to be the privileged man or the privileged lady because they've been stealing from you. They've been stealing from you energetically. This may not be money. This could be your energy. Somebody wants to continue to manifest off of you. Somebody don't want you to have love because if you marry this, yeah, I'm hearing two chosen ones are going to get married. If you marry this, this man or you marry this woman, then you're going to be, you're going to get into sudden wealth anyways, because it's your birthright. It has something to do with the Akashic Records. Like you may be in the five of pentacles and your person is in the ace of pentacles. So you may not have much money, but your person is rich as fuck. And I, I'm also picking up on a karmic masculine, karmic feminine with the eight of cups here. This bitch needs to walk away. Yeah, with the four of cups here. This could be somebody that rejected you in your past. This could be a karmic soulmate, a false twin or whatever, a twin flame that had a fall from grace. Somebody, somebody just keeps attacking your love life. This is a bitch. Somebody keeps attacking your love life because they want your blessings. They want your abundance. Somebody wants your life. Somebody fucked up and chose wrong. So somebody could have put you in a third party situation. Situation. Somebody could have chose somebody else over you. And now that they see that you're shining, now that they see that you're manifesting a new beginning, a new life, they fucking, they trying to block your love life. They don't want you to be with this, this wealthy man or this wealthy woman. Somebody is a loser. All of these people in this energy are fucking losers to a sword. That's why you blocked. These people are blocked from doing this. You're protected. I told you, sacred earth mother, a message of love. You got a lot of ancestors, male and female. This could be grandmothers, grandfathers, great, 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 great grandmothers and grandfathers. The archangels that's protecting you. You're highly, highly protected. These people are blocked from doing this. That's why they worry. That's why they concerned. That's why they trying to project their cursed ass life onto you because they know they going to jail. Bitch, you going to jail, bitch ass nigga. You going to jail. Everybody that's involved, you going to jail real quickly too. Chariot card here, cancer energy. You're sitting in the chariot still, divine masculine, divine feminine. Again, this is the, the gates of land and milk and honey. This is the promised land. Okay, you finna drive on in. You finna go ahead and get your parking spot. Go ahead and get, you already got a golden ticket, so the gates is finna open, so you need to go ahead and park. You finna be able to park right on in the in the promised land. You're gonna be able to get out in there. Yeah, when you get out, when you park, when you drive on in in your chariot, to the promised land, you're going to be able to get out and you're going to be able to use your golden ticket. You're going to be able to enjoy the fruits of your labor because you're the only one that did the work. Idiots. That's what's pissing me off. What the fuck? What, what work did you do, Karmic? What work did you do? You didn't do no motherfucking work and you got the audacity to try to play God and stop somebody. You want somebody to believe that they're never going to have love. They're never going to have money. Nothing. What are you talking about? Somebody could have hired a spiritual practitioner. Y'all stay doing that. You stay hiring spiritual practitioners and fucking voodoo priests and shit. Empress card here. Somebody is jealous because you're the empress. You're the emperor. This could be somebody's mother that's attacking them as well. Your mother is a fucking idiot, a loser. I can relate to that. I got a karmic ass mother. But somebody mama is a fucking psycho and grimy as fuck. Somebody mama want to be them. Or if this is your father, divine masculine, somebody's parental figure wants to be them. They want to be seen as the official person. They want to be seen as the privileged man, the privileged woman, the wealthy woman, the wealthy man and you're fucking not bitch you ain't never did shit but still you a thief ho yeah spiritual birth here a uh, world car here there, there's about to be a completion bitch for you i feel like you got to go several of you gotta go you gotta be removed oh 
since you want to work hard to try to remove somebody else, this is evil. Motherfuckers trying to remove people from their platforms. Motherfuckers trying to remove people from, from a community, a town, or a neighborhood. Somebody wants you homeless. Somebody wants somebody seen as unstable. Because if you if you if you if you off yourself. If you become homeless, then the lies and the rumors, the defamation of your character will be true. Oh, yeah. Divine masculine, divine feminine. Yeah, they sell drugs. You don't do that no more. Divine masculine, you don't, you don't even do that no more. I feel like you ain't never did that shit because I feel like majority of this shit is lies. This is a bunch of lies. Half of this shit is lies. Divine masculine, divine feminine. I ain't never, you know, I'm not saying you guys ain't never did no dirt. You ain't never did shit. But a lot of this shit that these people be talking about, a lot of these, yeah, these people be speaking foul on y'all name. A lot of this shit that these people be saying, you ain't never did none of this shit. Somebody is a fucking liar. You, and you're being exposed for this shit. Whoever this mother figure is, this father figure is, five of cups here, somebody is living in regret because they're being exposed while you're being vindicated. And you probably don't even know that you're being vindicated. Whoever the fuck doing this to you, your ex-boss, supervisor, ex-friend, family members, Whoever the fuck, because it's different for everybody. You're being vindicated. If you know that you're living right and you're in the upright and you're not doing shit, you're not bothering nobody. Yeah, somebody doing spell work to get you to get into a fight. Get into a fight with who? Ten of cups here coming out again. Your family or whatever the fuck. Six of swords here. You didn't sell down the common waters. I'm telling you, this could definitely be past energy for some of you. You could have definitely moved on from a community or a neighborhood in your past. There's something regarding a court case as well. Somebody didn't get notified about a court case or a court hearing chariot card coming out again, coming out twice. I'm telling you, you this, this shows forward movement. So I don't know, maybe you're about to move. Maybe you're going to move when you get this sudden wealth, or maybe you could have moved in the past. And when you moved in the past, your family, a community, a town, a neighborhood, whatever the fuck, they started spreading rumors and lies on you. Somebody could have literally said you died. I'm literally seeing a fake, a fraudulent death certificate. You ain't dead. You breathing. <laughs> yeah, nine of pentacles here. Somebody, I don't fucking know. You could have died. Look, you, <laughs> this your energy, yeah, you're still, you're still going to remain self-sufficient, abundant, whatever the fuck, whether these people like it or not. Yeah, devil card here, you're not a blood sacrifice. You're not going to be sacrificed, whether they like this shit or not. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> Damn, you know what I'm hearing? I'm hearing, I'm hearing something about jumping timelines. Like you could have actually died. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, Trump, right? He died on the episode of The Simpsons. He was assassinated on The Simpsons. And you know how they just tried to assassinate him and he didn't die? I'm hearing that was something about a, a, a timeline being jumped. So you could have like jumped timelines. Timelines. This could be uh, something to do with New World Order. Okay. You know how uh, I always talk about the second age of Aquarius. It was already one age of Aquarius. And now we're living in the second age of Aquarius, aka New World Order. So yeah, you jump timelines. You're now like, I'm hearing something about the 5D and the 3D. I'm hearing the 5D is manifesting in the in the 3D. Okay, I'm not gonna get into that science and shit. But yeah, like you could have actually died. Or this could be something, this could have something to do with your past life or something like that. You could have died in your past life. These same people could have followed you from a past life to destroy you. And they were successful last lifetime. But this, this lifetime, you caught on. This lifetime, you stayed on your journey. So maybe last time you, you killed yourself. Maybe last lifetime, you unalived yourself. Maybe they were actually successful in sacrificing you. And you reincarnated to this bitch and you coming back for what's yours. So yeah, maybe last lifetime, you killed yourself. Or maybe last lifetime, somebody killed you and they, they covered it up. Because I'm hearing something about a fake death certificate. So these people could have literally killed you last life and said that, that you killed yourself and you really didn't. Yeah, I'm hearing something about autopsy reports. I keep picking up on autopsy reports, fraudulent ass autopsy reports. So I don't know who the fuck these people is, whoever the fuck you are. If you killed divine masculine, divine feminine last lifetime, you're not going to kill them this lifetime. Okay? You're not going to get them to commit suicide this lifetime. You're not going to win, bitch. You need to let this shit go. You're not going to win. What you are going to win is a, is a ticket. Yeah, divine masculine, divine feminine, they got a ticket to the promised land and you got a ticket to jail in hell because you're going to burn in that bitch. You're going to be crisply fucking crackily burnt, bitch. With gasoline draws on, ho, you going to hell, bitch. And I really don't know your fate. I'm just talking shit right now. I don't know your fate. I'm not God. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you're going to heaven or hell because ain't nobody been judged yet, but you definitely finna go to purgatory. Somebody finna die. Real shit. <laughs> yeah, six of wands here trying to keep you from being loved and admired. Somebody trying to keep you from getting to your destiny. Somebody trying to remove you. This queen of swords here. I'm hearing a queen of swords, queen of pentacles. Yeah, that's living in fear. They can't sleep at night. Yeah, nine of staffs here, ten of 
on to that's carrying all these burdens that's trying to project their cursed ass life onto you. Yeah, Eight of Cups, so you really need to walk away from doing this sorry ass spell work because it ain't working, bitch. It's not motherfucking working, bitch. You evil asshole. Whoever the fuck doing this weird ass shit, bitch. Somebody doing a lot of fucking spell work. Somebody wants you to believe you ain't gonna never have shit. That God don't love you. Yeah, Ace of Cups here. Confirmation. Somebody wants you stuck at a standstill. But listen. Yeah, the sun will come out tomorrow. It's only a day away. It's blessings right around the corner. Yeah, you might be stuck now, but you ain't gonna be stuck forever. What goes up must come down. You gotta get your blessings some Someday, somehow, God ain't gonna never get a death card here. I'm telling you, somebody finna die, bitch. You finna pass away. Like I said, confirmation, death card coming out twice. With the death card in the reverse, you don't have no death. You don't got no ending. You ain't dying. You ain't killing yourself, bitch. Divine masculine, divine feminine, they not dying. They not killing they self. They not finna kill nobody else. They not finna get into an altercation. There ain't nothing happening to them. Everything that you want to happen to them is finna happen to you, bitch. You finna pass away. You finna die. Oh, you finna be permanently removed by God, though. How about that? Because, see, you not God. You thought you were going to be able to play God in this person's life. <laughs> but God finna, be, God finna play God in your life because he is God. He ain't got to play. He real serious. He don't play. When he come, when, when the Grim Reaper come motherfucking get your ass because, oh, yeah, he coming for several of you, bitch. And this may not be a physical death. This could be a spiritual death. When, when, when the archangels are called, when the grim reaper, when the most high God, when the ancestors are called to do something, they going to do it. And, it, and what it looked like, they, the ancestors, the archangels, the most high God, slow the, uh, slow the downloads down, spirit. They see every fucking thing that you're doing. Bitch, and it look like you getting your motherfucking ass toe up from the flow up. And I keep hearing something about vindication here. Somebody is being vindicated. I'm hearing something about defamation of character and vindication. Somebody is being vindicated for the lies, the rumors, the illusions that these retarded ass people have caused. They've done this shit for money. They've been lying on you because they want your money. They want your sudden wealth. These three of cups here. Yeah. Oh, Lord, this shit don't make no motherfucking sense. Just out here lying. Just out here lying. You know, divine masculine, you know, he sell drugs. He ain't gonna never be shit boy, but a jailbird. You know, divine feminine, you know, she a hoe. She sleep around, you know. She she ain't gonna never get no husband. She ain't gonna never be married. You know, divine masculine, you know, he ain't gonna never be shit. He just a bum girl. He just a bum ass nigga. Divine feminine, she ain't really all of that. You know, divine feminine is this. Divine masculine is that. Just making up shit. Just telling lies because you a thief. I keep saying this shit. You're a fucking thief. And if this energy keeps coming out every day, then so be it. That's what it's going to be, bitch. I'm going to read the same goddamn energy as long as spirit want me to read about it, bitch. I don't know. Different storylines. How about that? What else is here, spirit? Ace of Pentacles, look at that, coming out again. Ace of Pentacles, what I tell you, Ace of Pentacles, wow, with the fucking, wow, Ace of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords in the Justice card, look at that shit right there. You didn't did too much, bitch, whoever you are, male or female, you've done entirely too fucking much, you're going to jail, you're going to jail for trying to unalive somebody. Okay, I'm definitely hearing something about the judicial system. I'm hearing something about a murder for hire plot. I'm hearing there's going to be some type of law that's going to be passed. I don't know when this is going to happen, but this is what spirit is telling me. There's going to be some type of law passed where you can't do spell work on people no more. I don't know how that's going to happen or how that's going to work. This could be future energy because you bitches love to do spell work over the judge, over the, over, over the judicial system to manipulate people's lives, to fucking destroy people. And you're being exposed for that. You're going to jail for trying to unalive somebody for money because you want access to their ace of pentacles. You didn't already stole the ten of pentacles and you ain't got no more money left, bitch. You ain't got no mother motherfucking money left. And you're trying to kill somebody to get the ace of pentacles or you're trying to get them arrested or thrown in jail or put into a mental institution. Bitch, don't nobody believe your lies. If anything, you the one finna go to a mental institution. Institution, bitch, you don't want finna be in jail, ho ass nigga. Cause you want this, you wanted this to happen to somebody else. Yeah, judgment card here, bitch. You under judgment. You're not gonna play God in nobody life. Who the fuck do you think you are? Yeah, weird ass nigga. Yeah, Queen of Cups here. 
There can literally be a queen of cups in the reverse that's attacking a queen of cups in the upright. Somebody's spirit guides is all over something. With this bird up here, there's a lot of spirit guides, ancestors, archangels that's surrounding somebody right now at this time. Yeah, but I'm telling you, believe in the impossible. Chariot card coming out again in the reverse. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles here. I told you these people stole some type of... Yeah, yeah. That's why the chariot coming out in the reverse. Ten of Pentacles. These people stole your Ten of Pentacles. They've been stealing and they thought they was going to steal on the common waters. They thought they was going to just ride off in the sunset with your shit and you was going to go to jail. What the fuck? They thought your fate was going to be their fate. What the fuck? What the fuck, bro? This crazy as hell. Somebody thought... This is what somebody is hoping. They can get, you can but get like the fuck I said. You can keep hoping and praying and singing and wishing. You can keep praying and hoping and wishing, bitch, but it's never going to happen. Somebody is just hoping because it, it ain't shit else they can do. They didn't try to get you fired from your job. They didn't try to get you removed. They didn't try to get you kicked out of your home. They didn't try to throw you in jail. They didn't try to put you in a mental institution. They didn't try to attack your children if you got children. They didn't even try to attack your dog. Somebody don't want nothing or no one to love you or care about you, but people do love you and care about you. The six of wands came out. Somebody has done everything and it ain't shit else this person or these people can do. The only fucking thing that they can do is hope that you kill yourself. Somebody is just, somebody is literally sitting by their phone. You a fucking psycho, psychotic weirdo. Somebody is literally sitting, sitting by their phone. Ring, ring. <laughs> Fear, please. Spirit, please slow down the downloads. I know it sounds like I'm talking a mile a minute, but you know, people be doing spell work over my channel. They don't be wanting me working. But these downloads be coming faster than my mouth. But somebody is waiting on their phone to ring. Ring, ring. Hello? Yes, yes, yes. Oh my God. Divine masculine, divine feminine died. My ex, they did? That's evil. That's evil, bitch. That's what you waiting on? Divine masculine, divine feminine? Oh my God, my son, my daughter, they did? My ex, my ex homeboy, my ex homegirl, they dead. Oh my God, they died. Oh my God. Somebody even, oh wow. Somebody is a fucking psycho, bro. Somebody has literally, I've been picking up on this. It's an old ass bitch or old ass nigga out here. This could be a young person or old person. I don't know, but somebody has literally gone casket shopping. Somebody is so ready for you to die, bitch, because they crazy as fuck. And they saying, they saying you crazy and you might be a little throat. Who knows? But this is all, this is, this ain't normal. Listen, do you hear what I'm saying? Somebody has literally went to a funeral home. Somebody can have connections to a funeral home. Somebody is waiting on you to fucking die. I can literally see this shit in my third eye. I can feel this in the anointing. Somebody didn't pick out your casket. They already know what casket you're going to be in. Somebody, somebody that picked out your lot number. This could be like the uh, a mausoleum or, or a grave lot number. I don't know how, how the burial services work. I don't know. So don't, don't quote me for it, but I'm seeing this. Somebody didn't already spoke with the insurance agency. I keep hearing something about a fraudulent death certificate, death certificate with the death card in the reverse. You ain't dead. You ain't died. Somebody could have lied and said you died. It's like when you moved away from this town or this community or, or this neighborhood, somebody could have said you died. You ain't fucking die. You alive. Not only are you alive, you fucking free. But if somebody didn't create a fake death certificate, they waiting on you to die. They didn't pick out your mausoleum numbers, not whatever the slot. They didn't pick out where you're going to be buried at. But guess what, bitch? Whoever doing this weird ass shit with your psychotic ass, keep. I want you to go to the funeral home, bitch. Go every day, bitch, if you want to. I want you to get dressed because somebody didn't went down, bitch. This is crazy. This is crazy as fuck what I'm seeing in my third eye. Somebody didn't even pick out your outfit. I've been picking up on this shit. Somebody didn't stole all this Ten of Pentacles. They stole your money and ain't got no more money left. And if they do got some money left, it ain't as much as they had to begin with. They pity pension now. They need this Ace of Pentacles. They got to have it. They money hungry. Damn divine masculine, divine feminine. Why you not dead yet? Because see, if you die or you kill somebody or you unalive yourself or you hurt or harm somebody, if you do something, then the rumors and the lies will be true about you. And they can get the rest of this money because they going broke. They didn't, they didn't buy cars. They didn't buy clothes. They didn't buy shoes. They didn't, went to, they didn't took trips. They didn't hire voodoo priests. They didn't did root magic and death magic and, 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 and hoodoo and all type of shit to get rid of you. And you still alive. They, they desperate for this Ace of Pentacles, but this sudden wealth is signed, sealed, and delivered. It's going to come FedEx, UPS, or a federal agent going to hand it to you in your hand. And when you get this shit, you're going to be able to move. You, you are already free spiritually. I feel like some of you are going to be able to be free physically. 
Not saying we can go wherever the fuck we want to go. So ain't none of us really stuck or trapped. We can do whatever the fuck we want to do. We ain't trapped. But you're going to be able to do a lot more. You know, it's an old saying that says, more money, more problems. But shit, money can solve a lot of motherfucking shit. When you got a bag, you can really do a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? We all, we're all wealthy. We all got money in spirit and in the physical. It's nothing that we will never go without. The Most High God, again, will never leave us or forsake us. He will always provide our needs. But you're going to really be able to... I'm hearing something about... I'm seeing the movie Blank Check. Y'all remember that blank, the, the movie Blank Check with that little boy? And he was riding his bike, Preston ass. It came out in 1994. He was riding his motherfucking bike and he found that blank check. And it had it had that, uh, that rich dude's signature at the bottom. And he wrote, he wrote a million dollars. So you may about to get a million dollars or more, okay? Or something could be in the hundred thousands to the millions. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing 2.5 million. I'm hearing 7.5 million. I'm hearing somebody got a lot of lawsuits. It's like whoever these people are, they could have stole this money from you. They could have stole money that was in the hundred thousands. But it's like now you're going to get more money because you're going to be able to sue all these motherfucking people. You're going to be able to sue the judicial system. You're going to be able to sue your family members, your coworkers, your ex friend. I mean, you're going to sue everybody. So not only are you going to get the money that they stole from you, you're going to get more money because you got lawsuits. You got lawsuit after lawsuit after lawsuit. And I'm hearing, don't worry, you're going to be able to have legal res representation. Yeah, three of pentacles. This, this, this group here is going down. You motherfuckers is going down. I'm hearing young jock. Yeah, it's going down. Yeah, it's going down. All right. It's over for you, bitch. <laughs> but yeah, this is crazy as fuck. This is crazy as fuck. Somebody has literally, this is what I was going to say, bro. So you didn't stole this 10 of pentacles, right? And you don't got no much, you don't got no more money left or a little bit money left. And you have the audacity, at least, at least the least you can do. Cause you're not going to be successful. I'm telling you, but you know, I'm just telling you, you know, you understand what I'm saying. You're not going to be successful. Don't get your hopes up. Cause you've been hoping and you've been praying and you've been wishing. Divine masculine, God, look at me, bitch. I want you to look at me. And I want you to look me in my eyes. Whoever the fuck you are, whoever this group of people is that keep trying to sacrifice divine masculine, divine feminine, they're never going to die. They never, they're never going to die. They're never going to pass away, bitch. But you are. Oh, yeah, you are. So I'm, I'm encouraging you. I'm encouraging you. I want you to go to this funeral home. I want you to call this fraudulent ass insurance company and agent that you're working with because they're going to jail with your ass too. Everybody that's involved in this going to jail. I want you to call these people every day. And I want you to go to this funeral home every day. And I want you to pick out the best casket you can find, bitch. All of you pick out the best casket. Pick out, yeah, and you got the audacity. The least that you can do is bury divine masculine, divine feminine in, in a designer outfit in some designer clothes, bitch. You going to TJ Maxx and Ross, motherfucking the Goodwill. Somebody, somebody is going to the fucking Goodwill, bitch. You picking out hand me downs and shit for divine masculine, divine feminine to wear in the casket. You go, I mean, you know, TJ Maxx and Ross, those are good stores. But goddamn, when you when you took Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine's Ten of Pentacles, you didn't go to TJ Maxx and, and, and Ross. You went, to, I'm hearing somebody then bought Michael Kors purses and Coach and Gucci and Prada and, you know, Versace. And, you know, you got all type of exotic perfume. I mean, you didn't, you bought up everything. So the least that you can do, me friend. If some foreigners can they, they can be involved in something, I'm hearing something about a house. Somebody hired some foreigners to build some type of fucking house, and now the house is tumbling and breaking down. I'm hearing there is some foreigners that, that brought back some foreign bugs. I picked up on your ass a long time ago. Yeah, somebody stole this house. It's some fucking foreigners that built this house from fucking Mexico. I'm hearing avocados from Mexico. You have nothing against Mexicans, but somebody hired some foreigners to build a fucking house and they brought back some foreign bugs. And I feel like somebody is being ate alive in their own fucking house. You got a house built from the ground or you remodeled somebody else's house or you took somebody's money and built a house from the ground. And now these goddamn, yeah, somebody was trying to be cheap. Oh, you was trying to be treat cheap. So you hired some foreigners to remodel somebody else's house that you stole because you didn't want to live you couldn't live in the house that you stole because you got a guilty conscience so you had to get it remodeled or you couldn't live with the fact that you stole somebody money so you had to get a house built from the motherfucking ground and you hired these mexicans or whatever the fuck these Af whatever the fuck i'm hearing mexicans you hired these people to build this motherfucking house and they brought back some foreign bugs because you were being cheap 
damn, you you stole all this goddamn money these, the, in the hundred thousands or the millions. You stole all this motherfucking money. At least you could have hired a, a legitimate construction company or whatever the fuck. I don't know. You could have hired a, a legitimate company to build your house. But you stupid as fuck. That's, that, that's what let me know. You was nervous. Yeah, that's why you're not getting this Ace of Pentacles. This Ace of Pentacles, I'm telling you, this Ace of Pentacles is a combination between whatever you stole and all of these lawsuits that Divine Mask and Divine Feminine gonna get to uh, foul on your ass. And they're gonna win because somebody's gonna get legal representation because this ain't no ordinary legal rep representation. Divine Mask and Divine Feminine, they're not gonna get a court-appointed attorney, bitch. They gonna be, you gotta understand something. This is gonna go viral, remember? This is gonna be all over the news. This is going to be all over. This is going to be seen all over TV. So, you know, you better be careful. This is going to be on CNN, NBC, Nightly News, Diane Sawyer, and, and, and whoever the fuck else. Everybody going to want to interview Divine Mask and Divine Feminine. For some of them, not all of them, that resonates with this part. So you, you got to understand, if they're going to want to interview Divine Mask and Divine Feminine on TV, of course, they're going to get them some good legal representation. This is good legal representation. What are you going to do? So I'm encouraging you, ma'am or sir, whoever this group is, keep going to the funeral home, picking out caskets and, 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 and cremation jars and whatever have you call it. And, you know, and uh, keep keep going to the cemetery and picking out the lot. And, uh, you know, because the divine masculine, divine feminine ain't dead yet. I want you to pick out the best casket. Pick it out. Because guess what? After you, because listen, divine timing is coming. It's going to be a tower, baby. You should be worried. You should be concerned because you'd have been hoping and praying. you like, Dan, the only way I can get out of this because I didn't did everything. <laughs> I didn't hire crooked local government officials. I didn't try to cause divine masculine to be homeless, divine feminine, homeless, broke ass out. I didn't did everything. What else can I do but to hope and pray and wish that they kill themselves or kill somebody else? What, what can I do? Nothing but just wait on your death because the Grim Reaper finna come get your ass. The devil finna collect everybody involved in this shit from the crooked local government officials, the these these karmic ass communities, family members, ex-friends, ex-lovers, everybody up under judgment, bitch. You under judgment and you go going to jail and, and, and try to get your way up out of this, bitch. Do that weird ass nigga you ain't even got the audacity to bury you damn at least damn you didn't already picked out divine masculine divine feminine's outfit you could at least damn why you couldn't get them then why you couldn't bury them in versace or gucci it's they money you thought you was gonna sell on the common waters you thought you was gonna live happily ever after if the empress or the emperor were just gonna die and pass away and you was gonna get the lid they like bitch who the fuck do you think you are god yeah that's what you thought you were you thought you was god it's okay but god finna show you who he really is he already motherfucking showing you people yeah God finna really show you. He finna show you. I am the alpha. I am the omega. Hurt not my anointed. Hurt not my chosen one. Do my prophet no harm, bitch. What you thought this was? If, excuse me, God, for cussing, but God know I cuss. Yeah, what you thought? Queen, this queen of pinnacles here, this money hungry ass bitch and nigga. It's about, it's a, it's a group of y'all. It's a, it's a main male, main female, and a mature woman that's working with a whole motherfucking group. I'm hearing it's a mature man that's involved as well. Yeah, what else is here? Yeah, message of concern, wealthy man here. Somebody gonna hand deliver something to somebody. This is gonna be an envelope of sudden wealth. This may come UPS or FedEx. I'm hearing it's gonna be hand delivered. False person here, thief card. All you fucking false ass people that stole this great fortune. Didn't I say that at the beginning of the read or the middle of the read? You stole this great fortune. So now you're trying to get your hands on this sudden wealth, this ace of pentacles. You can't get your hands on this sudden wealth unless divine masculine, divine feminine die or pass away or get locked up unless they experience a death. But the death card is coming out in the reverse. They have to experience a, a, a physical or a spiritual death, which is a which is sleeping in their grave in a mausoleum or underground six feet under or four feet under because I don't think they bury you six feet anymore. I think it's like four feet now. But the only way you can get this Ace of Pentacles is if they die, if they pass away, or if they get locked up, or they get in some type of trouble, or they commit some type of crime. You've been attacking this person since they was a child. Shame on you. And you being exposed for this shit. You being exposed for stealing somebody's gifts. You could even try to steal somebody's spiritual gifts, but this is a, I'm hearing physical gifts. This could be a, like, uh, somebody could have left somebody a lump sum of money as well as jewelry, cars, a home, a lot of assets. You stole this shit because you want to be the one seen in high honor. You're not seen in high honor. You're a fucking idiot and you're a fucking loser. Yeah. And you stole this house too. Like the fuck I said, thought card here. And now you're trying to think of a way you hoping and praying and wishing you thinking about divine masculine, divine feminine all day. How the fuck you going to get out of this? How you going to stop their spiritual journey? But it's all 
always a light at the end of the tunnel with the pathway card. You're not going to block somebody's journey. What the fuck? Yeah, this is unexpected income that you bitches stole that's going to come right back to them. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, toil and labor. Then you got the audacity. I'm telling you, yeah, it's definitely a mature man. That's it's a lot of people involved in something. This could even be an ex spouse, an ex husband, or ex wife that's involved in something. All these motherfucking people are carrying burdens with the ten of wands. They scared, and you should be scared, bitch. You should be scared, and you scared and you worry. Nine of swords. You should be scared. And, I want you to be scared and worried every motherfucking day. That's why you can't sleep at night. That's why you having to pop pills, take a stupid pill just to go to bed because you know a tower is coming. You know the Fed's gonna eventually kick your motherfucking dough in. You know this shit is over, bitch. What you thought? God's gonna show you exactly who he is. The Alpha and the Omega. It's a death coming for you. This Queen of Swords that keep attacking a Queen of Cups. You want to be seen as, as a Queen of Cups. Loving and caring. and You're not. You're evil. You're an evil bitch. All of you. You're a bunch of evil ass niggas and even evil ass women. You're karmic. King of Swords with the Queen of Swords. And that's why all of you, yeah, five of wands came out twice. That's why it's so much chaos and drama. All of you are fighting amongst yourselves. These karmic ass masks and feminine is they keep trying to sacrifice divine masculine divine feminine you're all fighting and arguing amongst yourselves because you're a group of thieves you like to steal and you're all false as fuck you're false and you're a group of fucking thieves and you go going to jail bitch and you're never going to get your hands on this ace of pentacles ho how about that Ain't nobody getting their hands on this shit. But divine masculine, divine feminine will in divine timing. This shit is right around the corner. I'm hearing something that's been a, uh, yeah, attachment, letting go, resurrection, fear. Yeah. <laughs> what the most high God say? Some of you been sent here to be crucified like Jesus. I'm hearing knives in my head. You can hate me now, but I won't stop now. You can hate me now. Yeah, to the pinnacles, but I won't stop now. Yeah. Yeah, when Nas was that that's somebody need to go watch that. I had posted that in the community tab the other day. Yeah, keep hating divine masculine, divine feminine. Yeah, you might have, yeah, you might have stole this ten of pentacles, but you ain't getting this ace of pentacles. You ain't getting the shit else. You ain't getting the motherfucking thing. Yeah, moon card here. That's why you suffering in silence behind the scenes. You don't know what the fuck to do. All you can do is hope and pray and wish. Ten of swords, they they divine masculine, divine feminine take themselves out. That they commit a crime. Yeah, six of pentacles here. You, you don't know, you so motherfucking confused bitch you thinking you like well damn i can't get them to kill themselves i can't get them to unalive nobody or hurt nobody or harm nobody yeah you tried to say that divine masculine divine feminine was a was a drug addict or a prostitute or a hoe you lied on them bitch you tried to lie and say divine masculine divine feminine was this or that so you can steal this great fortune this ten of pentacles and they're being vindicated the truth is being exposed you fucking liar now you don't know what to do but hope and pray and wish that they kill themselves or hurt somebody else the only thing you can do now you yeah yeah now you confused well maybe if i go in and bread come but bread crumb them maybe if i make a payment plan and you so motherfucking greedy you a greedy ass nigga and bitch all of you greedy ass motherfuckers Divine masculine, divine feminine, don't be a fool. Don't sign shit. If somebody try to breadcrumb you with some money that they stole, don't, 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 uh uh. Fuck no. Let the let the judicial system handle this shit for you. Let God fight your battles. Hell no. Nah. Fuck this shit. Yeah, now somebody want to breadcrumb you. And I feel like you still fraudulent. You still snake. Somebody want to breadcrumb. Somebody may literally come up towards you. Somebody may literally call you or show up at your house. I fear, I'm here. If somebody show up at your house, call the police. If somebody call you on your phone or find your number, block them. This is a, this is some type of setup. Somebody is trying to set somebody up. Okay, somebody could still be paying people, hit mans, hit women. Somebody is working behind the scenes to set somebody up. But somebody is trying to think of a way to breadcrumb you. Somebody needs your help too. Somebody has been, somebody finna lose their home somebody house could be going into foreclosure if somebody got your ha a house built from the ground they can't pay the property taxes they can't pay the mortgage they can't pay shit they can't pay the rent they can't pay they can't pay shit with everything that this person or these people wanted to happen to you is happening to them this motherfucking person or people somebody may show up on your doorstep saying that they need help i don't know ask god if you should help this person or not but somebody is definitely trying to breadcrumb somebody well i can make a payment plan hell no nah. I feel like somebody got so much fucking money in your name or car. Somebody got everything in your name. Somebody definitely got a Ten of Pentacles. They didn't get an Ace of Pentacles, but they definitely got a Ten of Pentacles. And I'm telling you, this Ace of Pentacles is a mixture. This is a mixture of, of this Ten of Pentacles that they stole. They got to come back to you, even though they don't got no more money left or a little bit left. 
I don't know how they're going to pay it back. I'm hearing something about restitution. It's a mixture of that and all of these motherfucking lawsuits you're going to be able to file. And don't worry, you ain't going to have a corner appointed attorney. You're going to have a real a real attorney. I'm hearing something about Johnny Cochran. I don't know. I don't even know if he still practice law. I don't know. I don't know. Who the fuck is that? Johnny Cochran. Yeah, you're going to have some good legal rep representation. And these people are going to be humiliated. If these people lied on you, you're going to be vindicated all over the world. God got something special. God got something special for the chosen one. Just hold on. These are backstabbers. Yeah, somebody want to, yeah, somebody don't know what to do. They thinking of a way. Somebody trying to think of a way to breadcrumb you with this ten of pentacles. Well, I can pay you twenty dollars a month. You know, I didn't really get that much money. I only got ten thousand. You know, like, you know, I had to pay a little bills. I had to do a little, some little stuff. I had to work by jelly. I, had, I don't know who talks like that. Somebody says that a lot. Work by jelly. Who the fuck? This could be some old ass nigga or some old ass bitch. I'm hearing hit a lick. I had to hit a few lick. I don't know. What the fuck is this? <laughs> but somebody is definitely planning in, planning to come in to breadcrumb you. Oh, I had to. I didn't get that much money. You know, I only got 10,000. You lying ass bitch. You got more so like a hundred thousand or a million or close to a billion. I'm hearing something about the princess diaries. That movie could be significant. Remember in the princess diaries of that Disney movie, she didn't know she was a fucking prince or, you know, so you got to know you could, somebody is royalty. You may not actually be a physical prince or princess or queen or king. You just could be royalty in spirit. Bitch, you crazy. Bitch, I dare you. Oh, you thieving ass bitch. You didn't stole all this motherfucking money, all this ten of pentacles. This could have been ten ten million. This, so oh, okay. So yeah, spirit's telling me the number 10. I'm here 1.5, 2.5, 7.5 million. I don't fucking know, but get ready. But yeah, but the number 10 here. Angel number 10, 10 can be significant. You didn't stole all of this goddamn money and you trying to breadcrumb somebody. Well, the fuck? Yeah, somebody wants you on your knees. Somebody want what the fuck, bitch? Who are you? I didn't get, you know, I didn't get 10 million. I only got 10,000, you know, but I can, I can, I can pay you. I took it. I, I'm sorry. I stole it, you know, but I can give you, I can give you, I can give you about $5 or $20 a month to pay you back. Cause it wasn't, it wasn't really that much. You know, I had to do this and I had to, I had to do the bitch. Don't nobody give a fuck about what you had to buy or what you had to do. I don't care if it was $5, give divine masculine, divine feminine, they money back or go to jail. Cause you finna go. But yeah, ace of swords here. Spirit said, that's the truth. Bitch, you going to jail and everybody that's involved. You losing ass Steve. Seven of cups to confirmation. Like I said, all these lies and illusions. You sitting up lying on divine masculine, divine feminine. Cause you a motherfucking thief. I just seen the tower card here. Weird ass bitch. You trying to keep somebody stuck at a standstill. That's the, it's not, you can't know. Yeah, seven of wands here. I'm hearing that song by Tupac. It's just me against the world. Me against the world. Oh yeah. I don't feel like singing. Yeah, yeah, seven of wands here. All these motherfucking people that be going up against one person. Three of staffs here to stop somebody's destiny to block their future. This shit weird as fuck, man. I got to go because this phone finna cut off. I'm gone, y'all. I love y'all. Uh, this this will be a continuation, but just know one thing. Ace of Cups, blessings on top of motherfucking blessings that's coming. If rags to riches, riches, from, riches to rags, God ain't going to ever forget about you. Divine Master, Divine Feminine, you did the work. God, forget about you. His baby, <laughs> his son, his daughter, temperance card here. His earth angel, his divine Divine being, divine masculine, divine feminine, the one that sits in the palm of his hands, his son, his daughter, he don't got nothing for you? Don't you ever believe that shit and don't you ever unalive yourself. Yeah, page of cups here in the reverse. Somebody could even be trying to attack somebody through their children. Get your mother, or somebody could have been attacking you since you was a child and now you're being vindicated. Whatever the fuck this is. Yeah, and you finna take off. Eight of Wands. Yeah, I'm gone, y'all. Let me go ahead and close this out. Yeah, whatever done in the dark is definitely going to come to the light with the moon card here. God ain't forgot about his baby, his son or his daughter. God got so much for all the chosen ones, all the people that stayed on their path, all the people that did the work. God got a lot of blessings for you. It's coming. It's right around the corner. All right, like, subscribe, and share. Peace. These people are pathetic. Whoever this is, y'all are pathetic. Expect the worst. Oh, 
and keep shopping for these casks. I want you to go, bitch, go to the funeral home every day and pick out the best casket you can find. Pick out the cheapest outfit from the Goodwill or TJ Maxx. Or, it ain't nothing wrong with TJ Maxx or Ross, but you got all, you got 10 million. You didn't get 10,000. You got 100,000 or 10 million. You got all this money and all you can delete because you broke as fuck. You didn't took trips and did this and bought this and bought. Nobody give a fuck about what you bought. You ain't been a breadcrumb nobody. You think Divine Mask and Divine Feminine is slow? You think they gullible? You think they stupid? Because none of this, ain't none of this shit work, bitch. None of this shit work that y'all did. All these people, I'm hearing your conversations. Yeah, some of y'all exes. Your, your ex, baby mama, baby daddy, girlfriend, boyfriend, ex-wife, ex-husband. Well, maybe if I go in and act like I love them and act like I like them and act like I want to reconcile, maybe they'll be, ain't no thought we ain't slow. You thought we was stupid? Ain't nobody gullible. Maybe if I go in and give them a little bit of money and, and make a payment, bitch, no. But nobody give a fuck about what you stole. We give a fuck about what you stole, but we really don't. Don't nobody give a fuck about what you had to buy, what you had to do. We don't want no apology, bitch. You, you should have apologized and did the right thing a long time ago, bitch. So go pick out the casket because I want everybody a part of this shit. Pick out a casket. Pick out the best casket in the best outfit because you're going to be laying in it. You're going to be sleeping in your grave, bitch. You're going to be the one sitting sleeping in a fucking mausoleum. You're going to be the one six and four feet under, ho. Yeah, it's going to be you. Not divine masculine, divine feminine. And yeah, when you get this shit, be bold and first, make the first move yeah do what you supposed to do because god got a blessing god got a major fucking blessing all right for real i'm going for real peace